Well, Shortland Street will be at the earlier time of 5 to 11 tomorrow morning here on RT1, and at that time all next week too. And now Brenda is back to her true self. You can start anywhere. Sell stuff again. I've, I've, I've gone back to it. The compulsive behaviour. Yeah. So, um, what brings you in here? Just visiting a patient. You mean professionally? No, 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 just seeing a friend who's recovering from surgery. Thought maybe we could up the rotation of nurses 3D. Give them a bit more variety, what do you think? Good, yeah, good. The shit, mate, not the blonde. That was a funny, a funny movie. It's Bollywood, it's meant to be serious. Oh, right, right, right. Hey, so how come they never kiss each other on the lips? My round? I'm right with this tar. Checking out the boss, eh? No, I was just... You don't need to lie to me, Shanti. It's insulting. I'm sorry. I know it's him you wanted to take to the movies. Am I so obvious? Why didn't you just ask him? I'm not Alice. I have no experience with men. I, I don't even know how to talk to them. Really? I've never even been on a proper date before. I'm completely useless. There's nothing to it. You just fake it until you make it. That sounds complicated. No, it doesn't have to be. As long as you're genuine about the way you feel. The worst thing you could do is mess a bloke around. Cute girl. What? The waitress. Oh, it's miles away from Paris. So, uh, are you going to tell me why you were so rude to me today? Well, I had a lot on. Hi. Hi there. Uh, Chardonnay? Yep, sure, coming up. Ta. I saw Pamela Ashton at work today. Oh, right. She must have been seeing a patient. Was it you? Why would you ask me that? Let's see, you've been rude and stressed and unhappy for quite some time now. Like I said, I have a lot of. If on. she was there to see you, you can tell me. Why would I be seeing her? What are you accusing me of? Nothing, Mark, I'm just I saying I wouldn't be seeing Pamela unless I had a problem, and I don't. Why are you being so defensive about it? I'm just trying to talk to you. I saw her and I was worried. You don't trust me, you mean? No, that is not what I mean. Mark, let's just go home. No, I'd rather go back to work. Yes. Yes. Nothing. I can't feel anything except pins and needles. I'm getting paresthesia. Can you move your little finger? No, the ulnar nerve is severed. That's why I called you in. Get me to theatre. Do a graft. Oh, I'm not sure primary closure is the best call, Chris. There's a lot of swelling. The blood supply could be complicated. Primary closure has been proven to be just as effective as secondary closure. I want this done. I need time to think, to research. Take a sewell nerve and graft it, Justine. We've done it before. Only with you there monitoring my every move. Let me call Matheson at Central. I don't want Matheson. I want you. I trust you. That's why I'm here. What if I'm not good enough? Well, then no one is. Get a team together. You're doing this. up I've been trying all night I'm really sorry I didn't mean to accuse you of anything of course 
I trust you. I just want you to come home. Please. I love you. One drink. One drink, that's all I'm asking. This is a hospital, not a bar. You shouldn't have bought it in here in the first place. It's just to settle me down. Pass me the bag, eh? No. The pain's killing me. Well, it's probably the alcohol. A top up now would just make it worse. If you knew what this was like, you'd help. I've got something here to help you sleep. Okay, but give it to me quick. Right. Well, this will help you through the night. You can talk to a doctor in the morning. What are you doing here? Uh, I've been studying. In the shower? No, uh, in my exam room. I fell asleep at my desk. So I'd better wake myself up before I drove home. Oh, they're really getting on top of you, aren't they? Yeah, but that'll be over soon. No more late nights. I'll be able to spend all my time with my lovely wife. You're here pretty late yourself? Well, Chris is still in surgery. I couldn't leave him on his own. Surgery? What for? Well, there was some kind of incident in the bush. Chris's arm got crushed. Craig's all right, though. God. Justine's taking a nerve from his foot and grafting it into his arm. His whole future's hanging on it. I can't believe you didn't know. Well, I haven't spoken to anyone. Anyway, uh, better be getting home. If you see Chris tonight, give him my best, eh? Or you could tell him yourself. Oh, it's hard just wait a bit or not. True about you, isn't it? Enough to make you believe in karma, huh? Oh, darling, whatever he's done in the past, he doesn't deserve this. It's horrible, Callum. You should see the injury. Yeah, Sarah told me. But a nerve graft. You sure you're up for it on your own? Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. No, you know what I'm saying. It's a complex procedure. I'm surprised you didn't get Matheson. Chris wanted me. He insisted. Really? I don't need this. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not attacking your skills. I'm just worried for you. Look, if they're pushing you into this, you can pull out. No. I have to do it. And I owe it to Chris to put everything he's taught me into practice. You go get him, Tiger. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> See. It is to find a decent bunch of flowers this time of night. Where were you? I was at work studying, like I said it would be. I called you over and over. You didn't pick up. Yeah, well, I, I switched my phone off. Why? All I did was ask if you talked to Pamela Ashton. Why was that such a big crime? I wasn't accusing you of... I know, I know. And I was just being way too touchy. Forgive me. I can't. Just like that. I'm still worried, and it's not just about tonight. You've been so snappy with me, Mark. Yeah, well, you know why. I'm in my exam. Don't blame the part twos. Not if it's something else. Not if it's me. Not if you are unhappy with me. Oh, you... You make me happier than I've ever been in my life, Tanya. You're my girl. You're my everything. I... I hate it when we fight. The last thing in the world I ever want to do is hurt you. But you do. When you walk out and you, when you don't tell me what's wrong. I am your wife. I mean to help you through the bad times. You mean to confide in me. I will from now on, I promise it. Things will be much better from now on.
The damage to the ulnar nerve was extensive. I did all I could, but we'll have to wait and see if he gets back full use of his hand. What are the odds? Too soon to tell. Oh, come on, I need something. I got him into this mess. And you're looking for me to make you feel better. Sorry, you're asking the wrong question. Meaning what? That his chances of recovery aren't good? 60%, if he's lucky. But I won't be telling him that, and neither would you. He needs to think positively. I've just been saying the same thing to Lloyd. The other guy on the trap? Yeah, it's in Central Post Op. He's got a lot of rehab before he's walking again. Looks like you were the lucky one, eh? You should be counting your blessings. Yeah, I'm trying. I have to check up on you. Painkillers aren't working. I need something else. Well, you've had all the medication you're allowed. Pass me my bag. The whiskey's gone. The orderly got some. In the cabinet. Give it here. One drink's not going to kill me. But it never stops at one, though, does it? One drink just makes you want more. And one ease the pain, it'll just make things worse. What would you know? You're in here because you collapsed. You've nearly destroyed your liver. If you keep drinking, you'll finish yourself off. <laughs> I'm stuffed anyway. It's amazing what quitting alcohol can do. People have made remarkable recoveries, turned their lives around. But it's not easy. You have to be Give strong. me my point, bad woman! I can't. I can't help you. He looks so vulnerable, like a little boy. You think? Well, he just never shows the side of himself. He's always so in control, so strong. He's the boss. Comes with the job description, I guess. I know, I just wish he'd lean on me more. As his PA, I mean. It's like he thinks he has to push himself to do everything single-handedly. Libby, choose your words. Oh, I, no, I, I didn't mean because of his injury. I, I just meant... Uh, Tony? What's happening, Tony? It's okay, Chris. You're in hospital. You've had an operation. Tony. It's Maya. Justine did a nerve graft on your arm. We need to keep it elevated and still, okay? Where's Tony? I need to see her. Chris, it's Libby. Tony's not here. But you don't have to worry and everything's going to be okay. Oh. Tell her to bring Harry in. Soon. The sedative talking. Things will be clearer when he comes round. Whoa! That was short notice. I didn't even have time to dry my hair. Yeah, sorry. The phone's been going all morning. Feels like everyone's ringing sick. Mm. Gotta love that winter flu. Seems to be passing me by, Touchwood. <laughs> I don't believe in luck. I take precautions, me. Flu shot? Double shot. Top shelf, preferably. Uh. Oh, that's for me. Yes, we've had two new admits. How much did you drink last night? Dunno, I lost count. Oh, you think that's funny, Alice? I could still be drunk. <laughs> I'm not. Well, it smells like you are. The patient's gonna think. Well, I'll take some breath mints. That won't work. And it's not a good look. You should know better. Excuse me, I'm not even rostered on today. I'm doing you a favour, remember? Yeah, well, I'm beginning to wonder. Listen, I'm perfectly fit to work, but if you prefer that I went home, well then... No, but in future, could you tell me if you've been out drinking all night? It wasn't all night, and I'm sure I'm not the first nurse to come into work hungover. Bet you've had a few hairy shifts in your time. Not in years. And I never drink to excess. I have more self-control than that. And I like to have fun in my time off. So sue me. So Derek is still on the loose? Yeah, the police have extended the search. It's all over the news. God, it's like some bad horror movie. I wish we'd never gone out there now, mate. I wish have I'd... you seen Justine? Uh, yeah, Elia. What'd she say about the surgery? Not much. Early days, I guess. How bad is it? I need to know. Well, it's not my call to make. How about I go and get it for you? Oh, good timing. What happened? Was the graph successful? I'll see you soon, mate. 
The procedure went very well. No complications, nothing unexpected. But? There was extensive damage to the nerve and a lot of swelling. I'm hopeful that when that goes down, I'll be able to give you some good news. You're hopeful? Very. But you can't say for sure I'll regain full use of my arm. Well, no, not at this stage, no, but... No, I can uh, read you like a book. You think my arm's stuffed, don't you? No, I don't. I think... You can go now. Leave me alone. Karina Kapoor. Never heard of him. He's a her. She's a huge star. And anyway, the point is, the movie comes highly recommended. I could happily watch it tonight all over again. Was that a hint? Are you asking me out, Shanti? <laughs> I don't even know you're in the market. When's your next night off? Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. I I wasn't suggesting we should go to the movies together. I just... Uh... Please yourself. What a know. Don't say that. He was just being friendly. You don't think I hurt his feelings, do you? Uh, I, I doubt that. I reckon he's pretty much used to rejection by now. Joey, that just makes me feel worse. I can't find my wallet. I have left it in the car. Oh, that's okay. That's my shout today. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, look who's here. Oh, hi. Oh, you two look full of the joy. Oh, back together again, the way we're meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Love must be in the air today. Yeah, it must. Mm. Hey, I know you've got more study to do, but let's do something tonight. Oh, can I get back to you on that? There's just a certain amount of things that I need to get through, and I'm not going to stop until I get them done. Well, you can't study all day and all night. Well, hopefully I won't need to, but, you know, the sooner I get back into it, the sooner I'll be finished. I'll call you. Need a hand? Oh, no, I'm fine. Step aside, Shanti. I can reach it. You can't. I don't know who put the pillowcases up there. Maybe someone wants to see me buried in linen again. I hope not. There's been too many practical jokes around here lately. If it's carrying on... It's not. I wasn't serious. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. Off home, Brenda. Finally? Yes. Everything OK? I think Scotty hates me. Well, why would you say that? He hardly speaks to me ever since... I wish you hadn't said anything. I wish I'd gone to that nursing seminar with him. It was dinner and you said you didn't want to go. You said you agreed only because you thought you had to. I know, but I've obviously upset him because... And now he's punishing you, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I'm not. Because if he's getting at you, that's just another form of sexual harassment. You should report him immediately. I can help you with Scotty's that. Scotty's not harassing me. He's making you say that. I've seen it before. You don't know what you're talking about. I wish I'd never confided in you. I'll never make that mistake again. I didn't mean to, I was totally... So much for trust. Uh, Mark, don't walk out on me again. How can I trust you when you keep doing that? You won't talk to me, you won't tell me anything. There's nothing to tell. How about why your mood changed this morning when Maya and Jay walked in? Hey? It's seeing Maya pregnant. You wish that baby was yours, don't you? Look, I don't want to go into this town yet. You've made it clear how you feel about kids. I never said we can't talk about What's it. What's the point? point is, something is driving you crazy. Crazy enough to need to talk to your shrink. Pamela wasn't at the hospital to see me. It's a hell of a big coincidence, what, You're calling me a liar? I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's quite a fall you took. I slipped in the wet. I've done that. Seems like a long way down, doesn't it? Very. We'll have you right soon. Why aren't you using steri strips? Because paper tape works just as well. And it's much more gentle on the skin. 
stays dry, comes off easily. You have a very light touch. For such a military man, I mean. Rough as guts, you reckon? I wish you had taken me to that nursing seminar now. I'm sorry you changed your mind. God. Same again, thanks. On my tab. Sure. It's my fault. I should never have forced you into marrying me. You didn't. I wanted to get married. Not the way we did. I don't care about any of that. Are you saying that you do? Do you regret marrying me? No. The only thing I regret is not being able to make you happy. I should have known that I never could. I mean, we both want such different lives. It's not true, Mark. I want to be with you. Yeah. And I want the rambling house, kids, beautiful wife waiting for me at home, the whole, whole cliché. I'm sorry, I thought I could get over it. I thought we could do it your way. I, d I didn't say I don't want those things, just not yet. The, the time's not right. I understand that. I've been seeing Maya every day. I can't stop thinking about a family of my own. I, I don't know why it's so important to me, Tanya, but it is. I, f I feel like that's what I'm meant to be. I, I think I'd be a really good dad. Short and Street tomorrow morning at the earlier time of 5 to 11 here on 1 right after Dr. Phil. And that'll be the slot for next week too.